to come back and, and have a horse come back to the middle and, and think and, and look and not just go off the head of a cow and you feel a horse will get further and further in front is to go stop and get back in here to the middle and uh, we'll try to uh, show you on a couple of young horses and then do it with an older horse that should show you the end result but this is uh, is what I've really worked on for uh, really the last six seven years of trying to understand that what I was told and seen and and was tried to people tried to teach me to get back to the middle and then back out smoothly with as, with as little help from your hands in the end. You're trying to build to where you can do it with your feet. And I really feel that's what um, I'm trying to uh, get across doing this. And uh, I think that's where you can really tie a horse to a cow so much stronger. Into the hip and then step out. And that's, that's what I want. And when this one's tied to a cow a lot, out. So I moved, I see me move her a little bit more there so I could give a cow a spot to go through there. But instead of riding to the head here, I want to ride here, I ride him back out, across the cow to the head, right here, I can ride him back to the hip. Let him see, wait, yep, very good. So then I rode him out. Now I'm gonna ride him in to the hip. And then he went out. Well, that lets me start it right up here. Good, behind the ear, see? Don't beat the ear, then you can stop him. I think that was really, really good example of, con okay, let me see if I can show you Okay, this cow's walking at me. How he just come back to the middle there, look. Just read in the middle, not just going left and right. There's a left and right there. There's a cover, there's in and out there, but it's smooth behind the ear. Didn't met the cow there, didn't cut the cow off, but met it, hold him off, back in.